Section 7. Merchandising and Adaptations. See also Watchmen, the film. In 1987, Mayfair Games produced two adventure modules based on Watchmen for its DC Heroes role-playing game. These modules, entitled Who Watches the Watchmen and Taking Out the Trash, included background information about the fictional Watchmen universe, approved by Alan Moore. His approval made these publications valuable to fans as the only outside source of supplemental information about the characters in the story, especially minor characters such as the Minutemen and Moloch. DC Comics also released a limited edition badge set featuring characters and images from the series, including a replica of the blood-stained smiley face badge worn by the comedian that was featured so prominently in the story. It is claimed that this badge set caused friction between Moore and DC Comics, DC claimed that they were a promotional item and not merchandising, and therefore the company did not have to pay Moore or Gibbons royalties on the sets. Although neither party has stated the exact reason for the withdrawal of the figures, DC Comics did say in a press release that they would not go forward without the author's approval. A film adaptation has been attempted several times, with none reaching even the casting phase. While Moore believes that David Hayter's screenplay is, quote, as close as I could imagine to anyone getting to Watchmen, he did not intend to see it had it been made. Alan Moore, quote, refuses to have his name attached to any films, unquote. On 23rd June 2006, it was confirmed by Warner Brothers Studios that Zack Snyder would direct the big screen adaptation of Watchmen. Section 8, Editions. Originally published as 12 individual issues, Watchmen was later reprinted as a graphic novel. A special hardcover edition was produced by Graffiti Designs in 1987, containing 48 pages of bonus material, including the original proposal and concept art. On 5th October 2005, DC released Absolute Watchmen, a hardcover edition of Watchmen in the Absolute Edition series, to celebrate its upcoming 20th anniversary. The book features a slipcase, as well as restored and recolored art by John Higgins at Wildstorm FX under the direction of Dave Gibbons. The new book also includes the bonus material from the graffiti edition, marking the first time this material has been widely available. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.